PayPal has laid off dozens of workers who worked in Chicago, Omaha, and Chandler, Arizona. The firm seeks to shore up profits after growth in spending on its platform has stagnated in recent quarters. Supply chain disruptions also slowed down online purchases. Well, T-Mobile's chief executive officer criticized Verizon and AT&T this week for their recent price hikes, but it turns out his company raised fees on millions of wireless customers earlier this year. A Bloomberg says T-Mobile has grown faster than its competitors over the past decade by vanquishing service contracts, expensive international rates, and hidden fees. But in February, citing higher costs, the company did increase some monthly charges. Dell reported quarterly revenue that topped analyst estimates on strong demand for business PCs and networking services, a sign that companies have been upgrading their systems. While Dell saw gains, personal computer shipments overall declined about 7% in the first three months of this year. And Internet scammers are using hijacked accounts on Twitter to promote fraudulent cryptocurrency platforms that once installed enable them to compromise a victim's sensitive data. Now, Bloomberg News says since March, fraudsters have impersonated journalists, crypto apps, and a variety of NFT projects to steal people's virtual currency usernames and passwords. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King with your tech report.